Today, we're going to talk about the formatting options that you have for your post on WordPress. As you can see, the formatting options are on the top part of the page, just above the box where you can type in a text or put in images. So we have icons here that you usually see in word processors like Microsoft Word. We have an icon or an option to make text bolder. We have an option to italicize text, strike through or putting a line on the letters. Let's demonstrate that. So we select several words here or a bunch of text. Click on strike through and this is what will happen. As you can see, there's a line running through the letters. We also have the option to make a bulleted list or a numbered list. Let's do that right now. So click on this, you'll have a bulleted list. First entry, second entry, and so. There you go. For numbered lists, it works the same way, just that it appears or the list has numbers instead of those bullet points. So first entry, second entry. As you can see, it is very much like Microsoft Word. Moving on, we have block code. This option right here, you select text, and when you click on block code, it will make the text italic and make them or the font size a bit bigger. Horizontal line. Okay, so the horizontal line or this option right here is so that you'll set divisions on your blog. Moving on, we have the options for alignment. Then we have these two options right here to add or insert link. Or if there is a link already and you want to remove it, you also have the option to remove the link. Then we also have the read more tag. Toolbar toggle. And this button right here where it says distraction free writing mode, when you click on this, you'll be taken to this page. Let's click on that right now. Okay, as you can see, there you go. As you can see, now it looks a lot like Microsoft Word. You don't have the links anymore on the left side for the dashboard and the other stuff in your WordPress site and you don't have the links as well on the right side. You only have the text here plus the formatting options very similar to Microsoft Word. So as always once you're done making the changes save it so with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.